Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Going by the Book, a Korean comedy drama hybrid from 2007 that stars Jae Young Jung, who also starred in Castaway on the Moon. Now the story of Going by the Book goes something like this. Sampo is a small town with a major problem. Its banks are increasingly targeted by armed robbers and local law enforcement's efforts to address this issue have been non-existent. So the incoming police chief initiates an ambitious plan to send a message to the criminals and win the confidence of the townspeople. Now, every member of his force will participate in a bank robbery simulation. Okay, so this is an unscripted training involving bank personnel and customers, plus a lone cop who gets to play the role of the crook, okay? And the new chief thinks that he knows the right man for the job, a by-the-book patrolman named Doman. Now, Doman is initially dismayed to find out that he's been personally selected to be the robber in the simulation, but when the dedicated officer is told to do his best, what was initially meant to be a simple role-playing exercise quickly spirals into a nationally televised event. So I think we can all agree that the premise of this film is pretty fantastic. It's not something you see very often in cinema. You know, a very intriguing setup that's essentially, you know, reinventing the typical bank heist movie by eliminating any sense of danger whatsoever. So, for example, the robber here uh, uses neck signs on the hostages to designate whether they've been tied up or shot without actually having to tie up or shoot them. And everyone, including the bank employees, kind of play along with this exercise. Now, as you might expect, the situation allows for some very creative, unorthodox, and funny moments. And remember, the cops in this film genuinely want to win this game as fast as possible for the sake of positive public relations. You know, the the cops don't want to look like like they're fools in this or they're incompetent. But the cop on the inside, you know, the officer they chose to play the bank robber role, he's taken this exercise a bit too seriously. (laughs) And there are many moments in this film that, you know, demonstrate our protagonist's near fanatical commitment to winning this exercise. I mean, he could not care any less about public relations uh, of the police department, which causes all kinds of problems and inconveniences for the police chief along the way. So the viewer really does get a sense of like conflict and rivalry throughout the runtime, uh, despite the fact that this robbery is not real per se, you know what I mean, for the characters. Because a fake robber is just legitimately attempting to outwit his superiors. Uh, overall, performances and direction are solid here. One minor gripe that I had was that the pacing does slow down a little bit during the latter half, I thought. Runtime is a little bit on the long side, which we kind of expect from Korean films. Uh, this one has a, has a length of 2 hours and 13 minutes. It, uh, it makes the premise feel like it drags out just a little bit. Just a little bit. But nevertheless, this is a crowd-pleasing movie with plenty of amusing, unique scenarios and uh, a pretty cool ending, I thought. Now, I don't want to say much more because I don't want to ruin any surprises, but what I can say is that I do recommend going by the book quite strongly. And it is widely available on DVD in the United States. And as always, I will see you next time.